This video will provide a brief tour of the Virtual Reference Collection. The VRC, as we call it, is available through your school library's website, or you can just ask your librarian for the link. Um, this one is specific to a Compsit Middle School, but they pretty much have all the same resources. So when you first go on to the Virtual Reference Collection, you'll see it's organized with, um, by topic. So we start off with Bibliographic Utilities. This is Noodle Tools, which, which is the program that we use to cite sources when we're doing research projects. Then we have a section on biography, several resources here, business, careers and jobs, ebook, audiobook, educational periodicals, encyclopedias, health science, history and geography, languages other than English, literature and language, magazines and newspapers, mathematics, music and art, news, pro-con issues, we have a whole reference section, there's a religion section, science, social studies, STEM, and teacher resources. So as you can see, many, many resources available to you. Um, at the top, you'll see that you can also organize this differently. If you want to see the um, databases A to Z, click on that and it will give you an alphabetic listing of all the databases. Or you can do, you can also sort it by the vendor. I'm going to go back to topic. Another thing you can do is also, right now it's showing you the description, but you can take the description away and it's just going to show you the different categories without the description. And you can do the same thing in the A to Z sorting. Um, any of these will require a password that's unique to your school building. So if I click on one of these, you'll see it's going to ask me for a password and username, and then you can log in. So you can get that login from your school librarian. So take some time to explore this great resource. As you can see, we have dozens and dozens of databases that are in a variety of categories. These are great for your students because they don't have to worry about um, evaluating sources that they get from Google. They'll know that anything they get from this list is accurate and reliable and can be used in their research projects. So have fun with it and contact your librarian if you have any questions.